I just found my choir binder from my junior year of high school. Let's take a look. Guys, this is the type of thing you cannot make up. It's looking in here, it's just a bunch of old memories and choir music. So I just took all that old music out of this binder because the only reason I found it in the first place was because I needed a binder for one of my classes, so I had to empty it out to use it. So here we got all this music. Uh, do a little scanny scan, see if we have any pleasant memories to unpack or more likely unpleasant ones. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm also a little bit dead inside. Okay, first up we got Beautiful Savior. I remember this one. I'm pretty sure everyone hated it. <laughs> So one fun aspect of choir, specifically when I was a junior, is that we would have to, often we would have to do sulfite on some of our pieces for a grade. Um, so what I always did is I literally made myself a cheat sheet at the front of my music <laughs> to each note and which sulfite syllable it meant. and. I am not sure how I didn't get points off for that. That was blatantly cheating. All right, next up we have Blessing in the Storm. This was one of my absolute favorites. Um, as you can see, this one is actually not a choir song in the strictest sense because it's only written with like the melody there. Uh, we made it work. We, we simply made our own harmonies, which sounds like a joke. It's actually not. <laughs> yeah, we, so like, the m melody is like, When I cannot hear the sparrow sing, When I cannot feel the melody, so like they, they would like the soprano part, which I remember somehow is when I cannot feel the sparrow sing and I cannot feel a melody. Basically, we just blatantly took these um this keyboard arrangement and just made it our choir arrangement. Yeah. Next up, we got oh. This song, this song is, it's originally from 13, the musical. Uh, it, it makes me a little mosh. <laughs> and you know, Jason Robert Brown was absolutely right. Day really does turn to day, turn to day, turn to day today and you know what i have been looking in the back of the book for the answers hoping the bell wouldn't chime but i'm not ready to put down my pencil just yet there are too many answers that i didn't get i need a little less pressure and a little more time do i miss high school yeah I wish I was still in high school. Um, and if we think long and hard, I bet we could come up with a reason why that I personally 
miss high school a lot and feel like my experience was cut short and I didn't get the closure that I needed. <laughs> but you can never go back. Also, one perk of using copy music, sometimes it just says Brian for no reason. <laughs> we actually had a kid named Brian in our choir that year, so we all collectively decided that was his solo. So, uh, you're probably not watching this, but um, if you are Brian, you know the words. Um, okay. Oh, this one, this is, this is a banger. This is an absolute banger. <laughs> um, you can never go wrong, in my opinion, with those traditional style spirituals. They are some of the best songs to do in choir. They are lit as heck. Uh, see, look again, we have the study guide right there. <laughs> also, are we gonna talk about, as always, thank you, like, sir, that's a little extra, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, the song is like, swinging, three, four time. Oftentimes, I dream about music. Have a river that freely flows, and it sings a song sweeter than honey. One everybody knows. Late at night, I hear it singing. Then again, when I wake at dawn. And it fills me up with hope and goodwill, the will to go on, go on. There is a river in Judea that I heard a long ago. It's a singing You have to understand there's like a whole choir accompanying me while I'm doing this in my head so like it sounds very good to me in my head. <clears throat> Well, that was certainly a note. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got at the cry of the first bird. Uh, it's a good song. I just didn't really know it that well at the time. Uh, 
It's one of those weird artsy, fartsy songs that's like constantly changing key signatures. Like, like I'm just looking at this. It's like reading, it's like reading some language that I don't understand. I, I'm just trying to figure out how I knew how to sing this and I genuinely don't remember how I knew this at all. <laughs> well, that was me unpacking some of my memories from my junior year of high school. Wait, I'm even wearing, I'm wearing a Hoban shirt. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, especially if you are in the Archbishop Open High School Concert Choir in the 2018-19 school year, because this video, it was for you guys. Well, actually, it was just for me, but we can pretend it was for you guys, too. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and... Choir kids are going to rule the world one day, so uh, be nice to us.